It is the seeds of my artistic practice that are rooted in my childhood. There are two significant influences. My father was a man of deep faith, still is a man of deep faith. He created in our home a culture of devotion. It was his practice both traditional and legalistic in its expression that provided for me a connection to the sacred ancient beliefs. The other influence was my introduction to the natural world, which happened as a very young child and happened in the small woods behind our family home. In the woods, this small, humble cosmos and my playground, where I explored, played, created, destroyed, and sometimes felt unimaginable awe. There was this place I would cross the creek, duck under a tree, and go up a hillside. In the hill, in the winter, was just covered with brown leaves. This one day, I ducked under the tree, looked up, and the hill was covered with many, many small, little, fawn-colored lilies. It was in the woods of my childhood that I first touched fertile, sacred ground of the unknown. This lived, authentic encounter would be my artistic source. The religious practice of my family included ritual, pageantry, and symbolic objects. These practices transformed the ordinary into something meaningful and sometimes powerful. This world of miracles was faith-based, symbolic and historic mostly, but the truth of these miracles was nourished every day by tales of saints. In the second grade, I asked my father to drive me to church on Saturday mornings so I could sing with a choir for funeral masses. I wanted to sing Mozart's Requiem so I could levitate. As an adult, both of these experiences feel related because they are profound encounters with mystery. Paper is usually the surface on which I work. It is both ordinary and living. Transformed from a humble writing paper into something more, paper is not an object like a stretched canvas or a three-dimensional sculpture. Paper reads visually as impermanent living in permanent beauty. The scale of the work is larger than a human body, and it intends to create an environment in which to engulf the viewer and create an experience rather than an object. The paper I used in this exhibit is called Tableau. I chose it for my 1994 exhibition, A Step in the Dark, here at the Fresno Art Museum. For that exhibition, all the paper was waxed, and for this exhibition, all the wax has been ironed off. The paper is now more luminous and transparent. The recycled paper from that exhibit for this one makes the paper alive with history. My artistic vocabulary consistently includes a passion for line. This interest began in college when I realized that something so simple as line could hold the vibrational connection an artist has to her subject. A remnant of a human hand was embedded in this humble mark. Something felt, but may not concrete. Landscape has been my subject matter since the early 70s. In the 80s, the human figure entered the picture. And for the last 20 years, humans and nature and their entangled tumultuous relationship are both my subject matter and my theme. In this piece, I use Hindu references rather than my own Christian references. The subject, as you will see, fits solidly into the theme of my work for the last 20 years. If I compare it to computers, it seems like a change in platforms from a Mac to a PC. They are different but similar, not such a huge shift as an audience might think. The piece is entitled The Four Arms of Kali. In Hindu art, Kali is the eternal principle in nature. 
She is traditionally pictured as a four-armed woman standing on the recumbent form of the god Shiva, or the infinite. Because the activities of nature spring from spirit, the four arms symbolize fundamental attributes. Two arms are beneficial, two arms destructive. Together they depict the eternal duality of matter. In this piece there are four panels. One panel, or one arm, symbolizes her powers of creation. The second arm, or panel, symbolizes Kali's universal principle of preservation. The third panel depicts purifying forces of dissolution. The fourth hand is outstretched in a gesture of blessing and salvation. Each panel includes two or more figures or archetypes. The novitiate, the visionary, the wanderer, the poet, the trickster, the hedonist, the parents.